Hi, in this video we're going to be going through the calibration process on Mac for Doubler 2. The calibration process essentially optimizes your input device with Doubler 2 so they can work together well. And it's really important because it prevents things like double triggering with oversensitivity or missing triggers and missing pitched notes through undersensitivity. So we recommend that you take the time and calibration and if you ever need to, you can repeat the process at any stage. So if you've never calibrated a device before, when you first open Double Two, it's going to look like this. And it's going to ask you, do you want to use your own microphone or do you want to use the Doubler USB microphone? The Doubler USB microphone is already calibrated and so no calibration process is required. But if you're using your own mic, you're going to want to select on this side and take me to the calibration process. So the first prompt that you're going to get is talking about the kinds of devices that work well with Doubler 2. So we always recommend using a dynamic microphone and some kind of external audio interface to connect that microphone to your laptop. In this case today, I'm using a Shure SM58 and a Focusrite. The thing we would never recommend is using the inbuilt microphone to a laptop. We're particularly wary here of getting feedback from the speakers and also picking up other external sounds that we don't want. So if in doubt, stick to a dynamic microphone and an external audio interface. So the calibration process is separated into three key steps. The first is about picking your device within Doubler. The second is about setting the input level on that device externally. And the third is about fine tuning and calibrating that device to be optimized with Doubler. So we're gonna start by selecting our device from this list. So you can see here at the top, there's the Scarlett 2i4 USB uh, input. It's not yet calibrated and I'm going to select that device. The second thing it's going to ask me is what my input channel is that I want, and I'm here plugged in already into input 1. So I'm going to be using input 1. The sample rate of 44100 uh, is correct for this device and absolutely fine. And the buffer size 128. So the important thing on buffer size is we're wanting to use Doubler as a real-time instrument. And the longer buffer size means a longer latency, and that's true within Doubler, and it's also true in your digital audio workstations. So we always recommend using a low buffer size that being said, if you go too low, you might start to have breakup in your audio. Um, so then you'll need to start extending out again. We're going to stick here with 128 for the focus right. You can see here on the right hand side as well, there's a VU meter. I should be seeing something happening in there to show that we are actually picking up audio from that device. If you're not seeing anything in the VU meter here, then it means there's actually an issue with your audio input in the first place. Could be the cable, um, but the audio is not getting into the laptop. Okay, so I've just gone on to the second stage here and you can see that you're prompted to adjust the input gain of your device. What we want to make sure here is that the input level isn't so loud that it's actually clipping or so quiet that we can't properly discern what's going on. So you want to have a nice kind of middle level, about 40% works really well. And actually we've got this line here that prompts to see uh, where your level is in relation to this kind of target blue zone. So you want to be between this top point and this bottom point here. So if I just give some um, singing input into the microphone, do, 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 you can see we're actually already pretty much in the perfect level. If I turn this up, I'll go too high, do, 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 and you can see I need to kind of turn that back down again to make sure that I'm in the target zone. Do, do, do. So you can see there, it's saying perfect, I'm in that target zone, and so I can go on to the final stage, which is the actual calibration. So in this part, you want to be singing into the microphone in the same way you would be as if you were using doubler. And to prompt that, we've actually got the pitch wheel and a little target section to aim with, with your pitched singing. So at the moment it's saying, try and hit this section here between the B and the C sharp. And you'll see a progress bar as I start to complete the calibration process. D, 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 D. Once that bar is complete, the calibration process is complete and your microphone is ready to use in Doubler. I might find from time to time that I need to recalibrate the device. And if I need to do that, there's this area up here that shows the currently selected input device, which is the Scarlett Focusrite. So if I click on that, it's going to take me back to the start of the calibration process. Alternatively, I can also access the audio settings in, with this cog next to it, and I can select a completely different device and calibrate that at any time. So that's how you calibrate your own audio input device on Mac on Doubler 2. If you want to find out any more information on how to set up with your individual door, you'll find that on our tutorial pages on our website. Thanks.